Dear ladies and gentlemen, I hope you can see me because this box is so huge that uh, I'm barely visible. You can, I can hide uh, just behind this box. Look at how big it is. Actually, this is a limited series uh, made by Top Marquis brand. And this box is so incredibly huge and big and heavy. I don't really know what to expect. Yeah, so, but what is actually quite interesting is that I ordered 1 to 18 scale model. But here, look at that. I have a note here that this model is actually 1 to 12. So now I am a bit uh, concerned what is actually inside. Yeah, so I ordered definitely 1 to 18 scale because I collect 1 to 18 scale limousine as you already know. But today, this box is really huge. It looks like 1 to 12 model. Yeah, usually I have such huge boxes when I receive 1 to 12. Okay, so what is actually inside? Now, how do I... Mm, it's so heavy, it's like five bricks. Okay, so now I will just remove this main cover. Okay, so now this box, I don't want to damage anything. It's so, so delicate. Okay, now look at that. All right. <laughs> so even... <laughs> Wow, even if the box was so huge, uh, look at that, the car is really 1 to 18 scale, yeah? It's similar like my other models. What is really interesting about this one is this base, which is some kind of uh, leather, and it's huge, yeah? Usually you have a base like this, maybe, but here it's not. It's like very, uh, very long, very wide. I don't know why this is so huge, maybe, Ah, it's and now I know why it's so heavy. It's not act the actual model which would be heavy. It's the base, and uh, I think there is some kind of wood and leather and whatever. It's it's really amazing uh, how huge it is. But now about the car already. Yeah, so I was really concerned if this is one to eighteen. Why I ordered this one? Uh, you actually know that I collect 1 to 18 limousines and uh, especially the presidential limousines. And there was this limited series of only 100 pieces because this is the Fidel Castro a Zil limited edition. And um, you see here the Cuban flags, uh, which are only on this limited series uh, of 100 pieces. Yeah, so. You probably know the Cuban uh, dictator or ruler um, who already deceased. Yeah, it's still dropping some, I don't know, particles of resin or whatever it is. Yeah, there's a lot of dust going out of this car. So when I move it a little bit, it's, yeah, I don't know what it is. Some dust, yeah. But what is important, I want to show you, yeah. So how I actually managed to remove it. And it took me like 30 minutes, really. So I had to remove this uh, layer, which is covered by a leather. And then at the bottom, actually, I had to cut here uh, four holes, yeah, because there is another uh, velvet or I don't know what material, and it was fully sealed. So I really had to cut small holes and then unscrew it. Then this remained, yeah, so this huge, heavy base I don't know what to do with that. I will just throw it away. No, I'm just kidding. I'm keeping all the boxes and everything uh, in my storage, just in case. And I think you should never uh, throw away your boxes because one day if you decide to sell it, uh, it will be half price if you don't have the box. But if you have the box, the price is steadily increasing. And this is what all collectors want. Yeah? So this is why I don't collect any Buragos or Mysos anymore. I only collect really precious pieces like this Zil uh, Colombian, no, it's not Colombian, Cuban limousine. I'm sorry, eh? a mistake. Okay, it's quite, uh, yeah, it's resin, fully sealed. Nothing can be really opened, which is a shame. But overall, I, I guess it's it's a nice one. And I also have here this Lincoln, uh, this US state uh, limousine from probably a similar age. And maybe this one is a bit older than this one. Yeah, uh, 
not just guessing based on the design. This is more square. So this one I purchased already some time ago. It's the American one. Huh, it's also a bit dusty even if it was fully, uh, fully sealed in my shelf. But here we have this one and maybe today, yeah, just to compare the size, they are both very long and I think the weight is about the same. But now really, let's go to this one. Yeah? So I will just zoom in, I will go here. Good, so what you can really see here is this Zill logo, very nice uh, in the front here. Yeah, very sensitive piece. Two flags uh, with flag poles. This is a nice detail. We have the headlights and then we have this front grille, which is perforated a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure it's not really visible what is behind. And then we have something like a license plate here, but without any license plate. Yeah, that's, yeah, maybe uh, they didn't have any license plates for uh, the state limousine. Then we have the wheels and around the fenders with all the chrome. You can actually spin them a little bit, but not that much. It's quite heavy, I must admit. Yeah, and then the door handles in a chrome, also here. We have the Zill small logo here in the back. The rear wheels, also you can turn them. Also here the bumper with some details like this rubber. We have actually a lot of antennas here. I don't know why they have three, but one is here, second here in the middle. And then there is one more here in the back. I'm not sure why, but this is how it is. Then in the back, you see the real lights, also quite details. It says here Zill 115. And again, a missing license plate here. Not sure why. And we have the bumper. And here also the exhaust. If you're asking me now what it looks like from the bottom, then let me show you as well. Yeah? So carefully. So here it's almost flat. There are not even any sides. It's top marquees, but they don't have any signature. So without having the box, I would, wouldn't even know that this is this was done by top marquees. Okay. And uh, what else? Yeah, maybe also a little bit about the interior. So of course, all the details are there. The steering wheel. Nice steering wheel. And then in the back, oh, actually a lot of space, we have those seats really in the back. Quite nice seats. And I think there are some folding tables or whatever it is and uh, some carpet on the floor. Yeah, it's not really visible and since you can't really open the car, maybe also from the other side sometimes it's better if I... Ah, from here it's a bit better. So at least you see what is on the floor. And now you see also the radio and everything. Yeah, that's that's really cool. So the interior really has some details. It's not that simple. And of course for that price it shouldn't be simple. Yeah, so it was quite expensive. So why should it be simple? Okay, it's a limited series one of uh, 100. Okay, so now what to what to really say? What what should be my final word? So you see here this Lincoln uh, and then this Zill. So a Russian car against American car. Both of them are great in my collection, and I only wished uh, there is one to eighteen scale figure of Fidel Castro, and um, yeah, I would purchase it definitely. <laughs> that would be my wish. Uh, but uh, as of now, I mean, this uh, model is really beautiful. I love it. It's, it's done with a lot of attention to details, all the chrome parts, all the frames here. Everything is nicely in line and of course no suspension, no opening doors, no opening hood, no opening trunk. So actually you can't really do anything with that, but it's for display only. And I think it serves this purpose very well. So I will just put it to the shelves next to all my other limousines together also with this one. I think they will be next to each other. 
And um, I think that's it for today. So I hope you enjoy this new model. Uh, I think it's quite rare, yeah? So you don't see it everywhere on Facebook and uh, social networks. I haven't seen any single picture of this one. So maybe now this video will just uh, open your eyes and you will understand that there are also some other models more rare like this one. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.